This is a supplemental video for our work on visualization and interactive data exploration of Gaussian mixture models. The Gaussian mixture model describes the distribution of random variables from several different populations. They have wide applications in probability theory, statistics, machine learning for unsupervised cluster analysis and topic modeling, as well as in deep learning pipelines. So far, few efforts have been made to explore the underlying point distribution in combination with the Gaussian mixture models. We present an analysis tool comprising various GPU-based visualization techniques to explore such complex models. First, we offer three different raycasting views, maximum intensity projection, hull rendering and direct volume rendering. The first technique maximum intensity projection identifies the closest cluster in the domain. The hull rendering yields a visually better spatial arrangement of multiple Gaussian distributions. and the direct volume rendering allows discovering new modes. To support the comparison of Gaussian distributions as well as an overview, we provide methods helping in the selection of a useful basis. A smooth camera animation is used to transition between different basis vector choices and when focusing on a different Gaussian distribution. We demonstrate our tool on a showcase of the country data. The data points were then clustered into three groups by assigning them to the respective component with the highest conditional probability. We first explored the data using the small multiple overview to familiarize ourselves with the data and the model. The second Gaussian is selected and we set the information percentage to around 80% yielding 10 multiples. Here we identify a basis combination where the clusters are separated from each other. In the next step, we further examine the eigenvectors and corresponding basis vectors. In the small multiple, the second, fourth, and fifth eigenvector of the second Gaussian was used. Now, we explore the corresponding basis, which is built from the eigenvectors. We can clearly see that the x-axis is formed by the export and import attribute and the y-axis is formed the attributes child mortality and total fertility. After analyzing the cluster, we further examine single data points. So let's take a look at data points that have a probability to be associated with multiple clusters. This data point represents the United Arab Emirates and belongs to around 70% of the first cluster. Further examination shows when shifting components of the data point toward the mean, the probability belonging to the first cluster increases. This is especially the case for the income and the GDPP. Therefore, due to these low values compared to other data points in the cluster, the United Arab Emirates has a higher likelihood to be associated with the second Gaussian. Next, we demonstrate our tool on a second showcase the COVID data. We want to examine the data by setting individual basis combinations to get a deeper insight into the data. We are interested in the data attributes deaths and daily test, therefore, we set them for the X and Y axis respectively.
Two interesting data points are visible as outliers, Belgium and Luxembourg. As Belgium is far right this means it has the highest number of deaths and Luxembourg has the highest number of daily tests. Now, we want to further explore the data points inside a cluster. Therefore, we select a data point in the left cluster. This point represents Denmark, which shows that it has an erroneous average temperature of minus 14 degrees Celsius. The last showcase is about the CIFR 10 dataset. We want to explore data points with an increased mix likelihood. For this, we use the circle plot. Let's change the radius to get a better overview. Afterward, we set the threshold of mixed probability to around 0.48, and we increase the radius of the data points. Now, we want to explore the data point of the gray Gaussian distribution by selecting it. This data point represents the image of a truck, which is actually assigned to the Gaussian distribution number 8. The 8 Gaussian classifies images as automobiles, which means that this data point was wrongly assigned to this Gaussian. When we examine the probabilities, we can see that this data point lies on the edge between the 8 and 0th Gaussian distribution. Analyzing the zeroth Gaussian reveals that this actually consists of images of trucks. In summary we made the following contributions. We provide the, to the best of our knowledge, First visualization system that supports users in the exploration of high-dimensional Gaussian mixture models containing many Gaussians. In this context, we are the first to utilize 3D visualization techniques, for which we derive closed-form analytic expressions to accelerate their rendering. We provide multiple helpful tools to assist users in the exploration, including overview visualizations of shape and basis choices, basis customizations, and smooth camera animations and we present an efficient GPU implementation that achieves real-time performance. Thank you for watching.